turns out that the more complicated your model is, the more you open yourself up to overfitting. And you can go and poke around in the mathematical details later, but you know, actually layman's terms work pretty well for this as well. You can just think of it like this. The recipe you're going to use to convert inputs into outputs, the longer it takes to write that recipe out, the more complicated it is. So a recipe with more ingredients in it is a more complicated recipe. A recipe where you torture your few ingredients more is a more complicated recipe. And the more complicated you make your recipe, the more places you give your model to contort itself to your data and to connect all the dots for you. And so, learn to love simplicity. Don't right off the bat give it the opportunity to connect those dots. So, what am I saying? What I'm not saying is always use simple solutions, people. Straight lines are great. I mean, I already had a rant about that, right? That's the, the hubris of underfitting, insisting that the solution's got to be too simple. Well, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is start simple. And then if that doesn't work, then try something more complicated. And if that doesn't work, then try something more complicated. So inch your way up to the complicated thing rather than go right for it, which sounds well, good and well. Except then we wonder why people go right to neural networks and try that as their very first solution. Probably because it sounds really good in the, in the performance review, yeah? Like it's such a cool sounding thing because it's got brains in it. Neural networks is, is the method that has the most flexibility and complexity among your options. And so it's going to be good at fitting. It's also going to be good at overfitting. So you want to watch out for that. And you want to use it when it's the right thing for your task and not just as the very first option. So unless you know everything else is dead in the water for your task, don't start there. Work your way up to it. Try something else simpler first. You may as well just try the line. It takes two seconds in any software you're using. At least use that as a benchmark for what performance can you get from the dumbest possible model. And one way to, to enforce that love of simplicity is, is through the process. Another way is to algorithmically enforce that. So the algorithm will itself prefer a simpler solution to a more complicated one if given two options. And that is what regularization in machine learning is all about. It is simply about an algorithmic love of simplicity. Before, your loss function is all about don't make mistakes. And points are only assigned from how well do you avoid mistakes. Now we can adjust how our game is scored. Now we get a good score if we don't make mistakes. And we also get good points if we have simple solutions. Maybe you'll phrase it in the opposite manner. You'll say, errors give me penalties. Complexity also gives me penalties. And now we can have our algorithm balance those two concepts. How much nice fitting am I willing to give away if I'm going to do that with fewer features or with a, with a less, less complex version of my model? Well, that's all I'm going to say about regularization. Uh, you can read a whole bunch about it. It's a very favorite topic in machine learning. But uh, at least have a passing familiarity with it as a, as a love of simplicity. And if a researcher says to you, hey, would you like a regularized version of that? The correct response is, yes, please. Why isn't everything done that way? Because the researchers haven't finished working on it yet. Key message. Start simple. Build up the complexity only when simple doesn't work. And the final thing may be sophisticated. The initial thing probably shouldn't be. <laughs>